so today topic is constraints okay constraints means rules okay rules on where rules on columns are at table level okay so why rules is required okay so the problem in the current uh, structure is suppose you have a employee table okay suppose uh, you have a employee table okay you can feel it is a employee table let me merge it and you can i'm write it as a emp table guys okay this is a emp table okay you can feel it is a emp table okay let me bold it and also increase the size okay this is the emp table okay and you can fill the data with the some okay so this is a emp table okay you can feel that okay in emp table we have a how many columns five columns okay in this column so i am entering one two three okay name some a okay some a and salary i am entering some minus thirty thousand okay so thirty thousand or minus thirty thousand okay and age minus 180 okay I can enter, right? There is no rules, okay? And then I can enter, okay? Some phone number, okay? And also, here some 124, okay? And some BBB, okay? BBB and salary, some unlimited number, okay? Unlimited number, okay? And some, again, uh, age is 150. Okay, 159. And then I can enter same phone number. Okay. Is that correct behavior? No. Is that not is it's not a correct behavior? Okay. You can think, okay. You may think, okay, well, I'm entering why he is entering like this. Okay, which is not a valid, right? So even looking at that number, also you can uh, feel that okay, this is not correct. So this is the problem. What is the problem in it? Means salary will not be in a minus okay and age not will be in a minus and so age will not greater than one so 115 or 120 max okay and phone number may not be repeat multiple times and so employee id should be unique and it should not be a not null okay these are the conditions we have to specify suppose if you are checking okay so if you are creating your gmail id okay if you are creating your gmail id so it will ask like so this email id is already existed so create a unique one guys so is that make sense okay so whenever you are creating your email id okay sorry so now we'll try to create this table and try to insert the data okay we'll try to create the table try to insert the data whether it is taking or not okay without rules whether it is taking or not we'll check that okay so let me create the table so i have already uh, taken uh, that one okay just to create that so we have to use the sample database okay i'm using the sample database right so use a sample okay and then go and then click execute okay so it's executing now okay let me uh, select the data select start from okay start from this one okay means okay so it's giving id name or salary age phone number okay now we'll insert the data okay now we'll insert the data okay insert okay table okay so insert insert into sorry insert into the table name okay and values okay open bracket so this values will copy here okay so we'll take this values copy you can take a copy and then what we'll do so just we'll keep the double quotes so single quote and quote and then comma Okay, so these are the numbers, right? So we can keep only simply comma. Okay, simply comma and comma. And then comma. And then close bracket. And then this is the close bracket. So here we should have a comma, right? So just comma. Okay. 
and this is a close bracket okay so this will go and then we'll see okay okay so we'll try to insert that okay whether it is inserting the data or not we'll check that okay just insert it that means it's inserting okay we can insert any data without so is that valid behavior okay is that correct behavior no it is not at all correct behavior okay so we have to specify some roles on this attributes okay attributes means column names or enter table names okay so to maintain the integrity okay business integrity guys okay to maintain the business integrity suppose if you uh, do some transactions okay if you do some transaction the transactions will be in a minus okay something okay so user can uh, take the transactions per day only he should not withdraw more than three three times okay he can withdraw only max three times okay he should not go with the more than three times like that okay and also if you want to create a password okay so it should be um, a minimum eight characters and that would be a special characters uppercase and something like that okay these are our conditions okay the same way you have to specify the conditions okay that is called the constraints case okay that is the reason the concept came okay that is the reason the concept came that the concept is constraints constraints means will apply the rules okay to enter the correct data and write data in a table okay to apply the rules on a columns okay that rules so we have a so how many types of constraints you know so we have six types of constraints okay we have six types of constraints okay the constraints are first one is unique constraints okay unique constraint okay unique constraint and the second one is okay not null constraints okay not null okay unique means the phone number phone number should not repeat multiple times case okay it will be unique okay it will be unique it may null no problem okay phone number so whether suppose your email id or phone number so customer may have the phone number or not okay that's fine okay and email address okay you may have the email address you may not have the email address okay something like that if you want to specify the mandatory okay if you want to specify not null so okay mandatory fields. if you fill some web forms or something like that the, there is a star marks right there is the star marks that means not null case okay so it's a mandatory field you should not leave a blank you should not leave a blank you should fill the data okay anything something you have to return it okay you should not leave it blank so that is not null okay so unique means so the data should be unique it may have a nulls not a problem okay it may have a nulls problem not a problem but it should be unique it, 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 it will not allow any duplicates it will not allow any duplicates okay but it should be unique okay it should not it not allow duplicates okay duplicate but it, it may allow nulls allow nulls try to understand guys okay it may allow nulls okay not null means it's a mandatory field you should not leave a blank okay and then another one is a primary key so third one is a primary key primary key means okay it's a combination of unique key plus not null guys okay so just the primary key means okay primary key means what unique key plus not null try to understand it should be unique okay so primary key means it should be unique and it should not have a not null suppose in the employee table employee id is a primary key if you feel it's a primary key so employee id should not be a duplicate and also it should not allow any nulls and also it will be unique okay duplicate employee id you should not have a duplicate employee id okay each and every employee should have the a different employee id okay it not will be it will not will be a duplicate okay and also it will not allow any nulls okay so some employee he may not have employee id something not like that right so employee employee means he should have a employee id compulsory he should have a employee id right so employee id will not be a blank okay 
so that is the combination of unique key and not null constraints guys okay that is the primary key and next foreign key okay foreign key are check constraint guys okay check constraint so check constraints will check whether this age so age should be it will check age should be greater than 18 okay employee age should be greater than 18 and less than 120 okay it will check the condition and then only okay check the condition and it validate the condition then only it will enter the allow data otherwise so user can enter minus 180 159 something like that and then so if you don't specify the rule it will be like that guys okay check constraint will check the condition it validate the condition and then only it will take the data otherwise it will not allow data suppose if user try to enter 150 so no so user can only data enter data only less than 120 so it will give a warning okay error and that is a check constraint guys okay the and the fifth one is prime foreign key guys okay foreign key foreign key means it's a referential integrity okay it's a referential integrity it's a reference it will take the reference from parent table and it will mean it will create the relationship between two tables parent table and child table foreign key is mainly for creating a relationship between parent table and child table suppose you have a product table in product table you will have a product id right so suppose you have a product table suppose product table in that product table you have a product id okay and then product name okay p name and then okay so price and then quantity okay and then quantity so this will have the product number suppose uh, p001 okay name something like a uh, bike okay and price something 20000 okay and quantity something okay three okay you can feel like that okay so and p002 another is, is another product and uh, it will have the car okay and some 30000 like that and then the quantity is four now the reference table reference table means sales table okay so when uh, they will make order so this is the product uh, suppose this is the uh, product number okay suppose uh, product number p001 and then um, buy uh, so price okay so this is the product id pid okay product id and then price okay and then quantity how much quantity they have okay and then quantity okay how much they uh no taken okay so sold quantity okay here what are the quantity stock what stock how much stock you have in a product table okay so if you don't have a product number here something okay so in supermarket if you go to the supermarket so they will try to scan it so sometime it the scan will not happens why because so there is no product in the product table okay there is no product is entered in the product table so you are trying to purchase uh, you try to sold that uh, product okay so it will not allow sometimes okay they will enter manually okay they will enter manually in a product table and uh, they will treat as others and then okay they will enter the price manually something like this and then quantity is one okay so then only they can sold into the um, they can sold okay that that are that order will be in a fact table okay that order will be in a fact table guys okay try to understand okay if you go to the supermarket they will try to scan it so so many people experience this okay so they will try to uh, access it okay but it will not be uh, scan it okay so then immediately they will do the manual okay they will take the keyboard and they will they will enter manually and they will try to insert the data into sales table why because it's a it's a reference from parent table okay this is the primary key so product table uh, key is the primary key and foreign uh, sales table is uh, key is a foreign key foreign key means it's a reference okay it will take the reference from parent table okay so product table is a parent table for the sales table and it will take the reference and whether it is existed or not it will check and if it is existed then only it will be make the entry otherwise it will not make entry guys okay that is the foreign key guys okay foreign key will take the reference from the parent table and create it's mainly a relationship between parent table and 
shell table okay foreign key will mainly use for referential integrity what is referential integrity you may get the interview question what is the referential integrity referential integrity means it will take the reference from parent table okay that is the referential integrity guys okay then only we can make the orders in a order table okay in a sales table okay hope that clear that is the foreign key and the last one is default okay default okay default constraint what is default constraint suppose if you don't enter a salary okay if you don't enter a salary in a sal salary column so by default it should enter 10000 okay like that you can give a, a default constraint guys if user doesn't uh, if he don't enter the um, salary column okay salary column if you leave the blanks in a salary column it automatically takes the 10000 as a default one okay so like that you can uh, you can maintain the structure you can maintain the rules on the table or table or columns okay that is called constraints constraints is mainly for to enter the quality of data quant quality of data in a table so that is the main uh, goal of the constraints case okay it will apply the business integrity okay so it will maintain the integrity of data okay hope you understand um, hope you like the video so tomorrow we'll see so what is how unique constraints will be uh, implemented and that may be well creating of table also you can uh, implement and after creating a table you can alter a table and you can implement the unique uh, constraint and then after not null and primary key we'll see in detail all constraints with practical guys okay in uh, we'll see that in a sequel okay hope you understand the concepts thank you if you liked my video please share and subscribe and for more videos okay subscribe guys okay thank you